So is this the new paradigm that you see emerging? What do you envision this looking like in the future? Well, I just, I think that um, what it's going to look like is, and I think it will, you know, I, I'm not sure I love the term blended learning because I feel like it's a, you know, kitchen uh, and, machine. And but what is blended learning? Blended learning is the concept where you're, 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 you're simply blending the use of technology in a live learning setting. So you may do some, you know, it's kind of, you know, Khan Academy had one version of blended learning, which you would, you know, the flip classroom where you would, you know, use Khan Academy at home at night and you'd watch videos and then you come in, you know, having prepared those and then you can come in and, and talk in class, which is, is sort of making it a Socratic live session and, and more, you know, the, the broadcast learning happening at home. Um, there are various forms of, of blended, uh, but I think, it, but generally speaking, it's, it's using both the digital and, and live learning techniques. So I think the, the new paradigm, I think, is you know, for one, definitely blended. So I think we're going to see you know, the integration of, of um, technology with live learning, with live peer groups, with live project sessions, et cetera, um, you know, happening at a, at a much higher, um, you know, a very pervasive pace over time. So I think that, you know, is a simple paradigm. I do think that the, the, in the long run, people are going, you know, if, if you look at the data on, you know, the, the expectation for the millennial generation in terms of number of jobs, it's something the expectation is um, between 15 and 18 jobs in their lifetimes, and, which is stunning. I mean, I, you know, I, um, and I think I've had, how many jobs have I had? Three, maybe, uh, four. And, um, and uh, that the expectation that there, that, that job change velocity and, and oh, by the way, the, the fact that their their jobs, even without moving companies, are changing at a at an incredible velocity, they you know, unimaginable, are. five or ten years ago, is that this the, this whole lifelong learning uh, requirement really, I mean, is going to really become a requirement. So, um, it is to, in order to stay up, in order to get the next job, in order to stay competitive in your existing job, or just frankly, just to be intellectually stimulated. So I think you're, and I feel, you know, I mean, I feel the peer pressure. I love the, I love the move that, that, that code.org and Hadi Partovi, who started that, who's a genius entrepreneur. Um, I love that coding has moved mainline and it really happened remarkably quickly. I mean, it was a couple of activities like that and some companies, I'm an investor in a company called Tinker, which is wonderful and um, that does, uh, that teaches coding logic to fourth, fourth grade up through middle school. Um, so there, were, there was a, you know, just a wonderful velocity of activity around coding that moved it mainline, it, just an incredible, you know, pace. I mean, you know, three years ago, you know, it was, it was unheard. And now you can't go anywhere without, you know, hearing about a coding academy. And, um, which is great. So it's really become just a natural language for everybody to talk about and not this big thing that everybody was afraid of. So I think that's the kind of thing that, that can happen in the learning world um, where we're, you know, we're beginning to, you know, embed some natural, you know, things that, that should become part of our vocabulary into learning, whether it's online or whether it's offline. Um, so I think the new paradigm is you're just going to feel, you know, both competitively and, and, and for wanting to, you know, um, be in the, the game yourself, a need to, to continually learn. And the, the easiest way to do that is going to be online. I mean, in the, in the long run, I mean, I think the, you know, for certainly for adults who are time, you know, who are time constrained and so, um, and resource constrained and both from a time and money standpoint. So, um, you know, I think that's a, that's the new paradigm. I think it'll be very blended in K twelve, and I think you'll see you know it'll be blended in higher ed, and then but you'll see more and more um, uh, higher ed that can be done you know primarily online, and and um, and and I think everybody will get very personally. I think people will get increasingly comfortable with that.